Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Rule the Waves 3, a new game out by Naval Warfare Simulations and published by Matrix and Slytherin Games. And we don't need to talk more about that, this is like 24, 25 episodes into this series. Uh, we're playing as Italy against Austria-Hungary, well against the whole world, but we're at war with Austria-Hungary. And uh, that war just started. So let's take a look at what we've got in store for us. So we've just entered the Dreadnought era. It's 1910. Austria-Hungary has built an impressive Dreadnought fleet. Five battle cruisers is what their fleet is consisting of. They're also building a new Dreadnought and then a, another battle cruiser. So they'll have six and one. Uh, they have four old-style pre-Dreadnought battleships, five armored cruisers, two light cruisers, 34 destroyers, and five corvettes. Also 14 subs. We have no dreadnoughts of any kind. We're building two battleships and two battle cruisers, but they're both a year plus away, uh, and uh, so that's a problem. We do have seven battleships, and two of them are of a quasi semi dreadnought status, which might be able to fight against their battle cruisers somewhat effectively. I'm not sure. Uh, we've got like a bunch of nine inch guns on them, and the enemy, I think, Austria Hungary's battle cruisers are not very well armored. Uh, the Carrington class is six and a half inches of belt. I think nine inch guns could penetrate that. Uh, and then they have the Airs to Franz class, which we don't know anything about. That's their battleship class that they're building. Uh, so maybe we have two ships that can engage these guys okay. Um, additionally, if we take a look at uh, the rest of our fleet, uh, 11 armored cruisers, three light cruisers, 24 destroyers, building 10. So we may actually have e equality in numbers in destroyers in the next few days, few months. Uh, only two corvettes for us, twelve subs. So really, the the place we're behind is the the dreadnoughts and the battle cruisers. That being said, I don't really want to fight Austria-Hungary because they just they're not very interesting to me. They don't they don't have a lot of base resources. They have no possessions. We can't really paint the map by taking them out. Uh, we've already taken the Dalmatian coast. Uh, but it was what was sort of thrust upon me, if you will. So I don't think they have anything in China. Like, it's just a... I feel like I'd be fine if they were removed from the game at this point because I don't really want to risk losing stuff and I can't really take any more territory. Although, if you do win a war against an enemy and they don't have anything to give you, you get reparations, which helps your economy a little bit, I think. Um, so you, we might get a little bit out of the war. In any event... Um, yeah, let's, I guess, move forward. Oh, ships that are under construction. Oh, we're blockaded. We're blockaded. Damn. Um, that being said, uh, so stuff under construction. We've got two THG-2 class uh, battle cruisers of 25,000 tons. Uh, we've got two Umberto or Victor Emmanuel class uh, dreadnoughts under construction. Nine months in the battle cruisers, 18 months in the battle ships. Uh, we also have four light cruisers under construction. Two of those are paused. And then our 10 destroyers of the uh, full mine class, uh, which will start coming on, off the ways in about three to four months. So our financial situation is not great. Negative 600. We've got 2,000 in the bank, so we can go a couple of months currently. Uh, but let's uh, move forward to the next month and see if anything happens. Your 12 submarines will not make much of an impression in unrestricted submarine warfare. Are you sure you want to order... On mm. Saying they won't make much of an impression, so I guess I'll go back to prize rules because I don't want to piss the rest of the world off and draw another country into the war right away. Patrolling Austrian ship intercepts Italian raider armored cruiser Versailles running the blockade. Let's fight that battle and see what happens. I believe this will be a Palistro class, which are, we have three of these things. They're, it says 1904, but they're really like an 1892 design. Um, the first ship I think I designed, so they're not great. They're not super fast. Um... We've redesigned them so they've got modern fire control, but other than that, if they're facing modern enemy shipping, they may be in trouble. Let's go ahead and fast forward and see what happens. Ship spotted, sir. All right, so this is a cruiser action. I believe we have, we're trying to break through the blockade. We don't know what the enemy has. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. They have a battle, battle cruiser? He's our, there's nowhere for him to run either. Like he's not even, he's running the blockade, but he's already at like the mouth of the Gibral of Gibraltar. What? All right, let's get a little closer and see if this is really a battle cruiser. Perhaps it's an armored cruiser. 
Nope, it's a battle cruiser. All right, let's turn, run away. Maybe we can escape and they won't hit me. The battle cruiser is considerably faster than me at 25 knots. Squadron max speed. They're just going to take me out at long range, too. Like, I can't. My 8-inch guns won't do anything at this range. What's the... Uh, have we been hit yet? Two medium hits, no heavy hits yet. Uh, is there any way for me to run to? Like, there's nothing... It's 11 o'clock. I don't think we'll get to nightfall before they destroy me. Man, this kind of suck. This is like the Falklands, but not quite as bad. All right, 12 o'clock. Are they scoring periodic hits on me? I think they are. Two heavy hits, two medium hits. I'm assuming the heavy hits are the 12-inchers. The enemy armor is not much stronger than mine, but the problem is that I can't even, I'm not even shooting at them. Maybe they don't have enough ammo. Maybe I can get out of here before they sink me. All right, we're making 19 knots. We're not really shooting at the enemy. They're just shooting at me. It's 2 o'clock. We're slowing down a little bit. It's 4 o'clock. Give me the nightfall, boys. I feel bad for the stokers who are like, yeah, stokers are exhausted. Unknown ship. Oh, that's just the light cruiser. What's the situation here? We have taken five heavy hits and two medium hits. It is 4.30. Nightfall is when? There's pretty much no moon, only 3,500 yard visibility at night. Max speed's 18 knots, but stokers are exhausted, so I don't know if that means it slows down. We may have to pull back our armored cruisers that are set to raiding because if we're going to keep running into enemy battle cruisers that are going to you know, make me not able to do anything raiding wise, then what's the point? Anyway, it looks like we might have escaped. We did. So it says light damage, but it feels like it was a lot closer to bad than otherwise. Austro Hungarian victory, but. Nothing materially changed. I don't even know if we, do we fire any shots? We didn't. We fired ten rounds from our eight, from our eight inch guns. Thirty seven from our secondaries. We took six heavy hits, five medium, and a reasonable amount of damage. Marginal victory. One hundred and twenty six victory points for them. Austria, Hungary, and Japan have let their treaty lapse due to rising tensions. Thank God. I didn't even know. I forgot they were allied to Japan. That was close. All right. We lost one merchant to enemy subs. They lost nothing. Uh, okay. So very inactive turn in terms of commerce rating. We've got the one police drill class that is uh, now being repaired for the next month. So we'll move to month three of the war. Battleship engagement near Dalmatia. Large battle. Seven battleships for us, four battle cruisers, four battleships for the enemy, ten armored cruisers for us. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what happens here. I'm not going to give them a whole bunch of free XP because I don't want to war where we lose Dalmatia. We spent a lot of time and effort getting Dalmatia, so we'll see what the enemy has in store for us. We've got the Marcus Aurelius class armored cruisers, which are our best armored cruisers. Uh, they'll chew anything up, maybe even some pre-dreadnoughts up. Four nine-inch guns, 12 seven-inch guns in turrets. 16 three inch guns, five and a half inches of armor. They're basically battle cruisers from an armor point of view. Um, we have the Romeo class armored cruisers, not quite as good. Four nine inch guns, 10 five inch guns, 12 threes, with five of belt. Uh, then we've got the uh, Caesar class, which are, are the flagship of the fleet. They are semi dreadnoughts, four 12 inch guns, 
12 9 inch guns, 16 3 inch guns, and the enemy dreadnoughts only have, the enemy battle cruisers only have tw four 12 inch guns. So they're faster than us, but if they engage in a gunnery duel versus the Caesar, unless the dreadnoughts get some sort of advantage for technology wise from a fire control perspective, I think the Caesar is a better puncher than, than the enemy. And then we've got the Roma class of uh, 4, 12, 12, 8, and 23s. They're pretty damn good, too. All right. Sorry about that. So let's get our battleships. Well, actually, let's just unpause for a second. All right. Did we spot anything? Oh, we've also got a sub down here doing something. Recon or something, maybe? All right, enemy ships spotted to the south. We'll get our battleships up to speed. Uh, I think everybody's max speed is nine or 21 knots for our battle line, so... them down there. Those are our four battleships. The Marcus Aureliuses are going to race over here to get in contact. Also, like, what, what, are you, what are you doing? You're just out here on your own? Okay. I don't know why we have armored cruisers as a screen, but okay. Let's go see what the enemy has. All right, we've got some destroyers in here, too, which might be able to make a run in on some of these enemy ships. All right, more enemy ships are being spotted. This looks like a screen, given the formation and how these guys are spaced out. Okay, stair class armored cruiser. That's our stuff is better than anything they have. At least, I'm assuming these are the battleships back here in this formation, and this armored cruiser and some destroyers are out here screening. We're coming forward in reasonable, a reasonable formation here. This is the first time the Caesars have been engaged in a battle. RT is crossed from a tactical perspective. Uh, let's have the Francisco Federucci class or whatever. Can you guys change to a uh, line, line ahead and change to independent? Because I want you guys to act as more of just a, a battleship line. All right. So what do we all got here? We've got heirs to Carl. This is an old style pre-dreadnought. Both of these are the zero is as well. And then presumably back here on this back line or maybe back here are the battle cruisers. Not entirely sure. So if the enemy wants to escape, well, they have to go all the way up Adriatic. So they could be trying to get past us. This could be battle cruisers down here. I'm pretty confident in my ability to deal with this formation out to the right. Question is, where are their other ships? Or what are their other ships? Marcus Aurelius, you head south. Go try and deal with the stair. Although if there's battleships back here, maybe you shouldn't. But if they've got like a dreadnought down here, we can take it on like four on one. That that I'd be up for. How fast are their battleships anyway? Only 17 knots, so in theory I might be able to catch them.
All right, this stair, I don't know if it's heavily damaged or what, but it doesn't seem to be keeping up with the rest of the fleet. Is that another stair down here to the south? How's Aurelius doing? No hits taken, 18 rounds fired, one hit scored. Not bad. How about the Caesar? One hit out of 45 fired. That's actually not that bad. One problem we'll have in this battle is the bulk of our fleet has been mothballed for quite some time. And so the crew quality that we've got going on most of these ships is pretty poor. So that's something to consider. I wonder where their dreadnoughts are. I thought we saw something about dreadnoughts in this battle, but maybe they didn't come out and engage. It could be a really big political victory from a, hey, you guys actually, you know, defeated considerable tonnage if we, if we win something here, but it may not really change the tactical picture all that much or the strategic picture all that much, given the enemy will still have a huge dreadnought lead. Why is the Roma not turning? There we go. All right, we're kind of picking on the stair back here. Also, how's Aurelius doing? Sailed right past the other enemy stair, I think. Battle cruisers back here coming up from behind. Interesting. Getting a little spread out. Uh, let's do this. Let's take these destroyers, put them on off AI control, and go up and see if they can make a torpedo attack on the stair. Squadron max, 31 knots. Oh, those are our newer, newer destroyers. We'll see how they do. The Aurelius has not been hit yet. She scored one hit with her 9-inch guns, seven with her secondary sixes. Battle cruisers look like they're going around the other end of the island to meet up with the rest of this battleship float Tilla north of this island here. We're just south of Spoleto. We fired a torpedo at the stair up there. We didn't hit it. I think we're going to lose at least the lead destroyer there. Oh, my God. So they articulately fired a torpedo at the stair, didn't hit it, and then just sailed straight into the damn thing. She's sinking now. That's funny. Looks like we're doing some damage on some enemy destroyers up here in the north. So we lost one destroyer in exchange for maybe an armored cruiser. I don't even think we sank this stair up here yet. She's obviously got to be damaged from colliding with a 700 ton 30 knot destroyer, but she didn't sink. And it was getting much better at avoiding our torpedoes than they were in the last war. The battle cruisers are coming around. We're taking some damage. Go get the Zinstrol. Well, she's dead in the water. She's probably already sinking. All right. Roma and Lepanto, come back around and join the rest of the fleet. One enemy battleship of the Zrinzi is... Appears to be dead in the water, so I'm assuming she's sinking. 
We also just hit over the torpedo from that destroyer I sent over there. I am completely disorganized. Let's pull these battleships back. I don't want to engage the enemy battle cruisers piecemeal like this. Although Lepanto is in trouble. Panto's at 20, 39% damage, one heavy hit, 19 mediums. Looks like one of her turrets is out of action. All right, we're starting to run low on ammo. We take out some of these light enemy ships. I don't think we're going to do much damage to their battle fleet. I think we sank one battleship. Trying to avoid sailing in too straight a line. Don't want to sail into any torpedoes. Some of the northern ships appear to be coming back south. Fuck. Oh, yes, a dud torpedo. No, the Caesar was hit by a torpedo. Caesar's flooding. Oh, that's pretty high flotation damage. Jupiter magazine hit. Ship blows up. All right. Well, we got we got one of their CLs. Caesar fired a spread at the uh, stair over here. Maybe we'll get one of their armored cruisers. She seems to be dead in the water. Can escape now. All right, so one CL sunk. I think one battleship sunk. And maybe one destroyer magazine hit ship blows up. Interesting. I have not seen many magazine detonations in previous battles, but there's been two in this one. I don't know if it's because guns are getting more advanced. By the way, there's those those armored cruisers that we lost sight of. Three armored cruisers and a destroyer flotilla sailed out beyond my ability to communicate with due to nightfall, and now they're coming back up. Also, other enemy ships appear to be approaching. They're approaching my battle line. Is this a is this really a battle cruiser? Is the enemy trying to close in for the kill? We're running low on ammo. Marcus Aurelius is in trouble back there. But it's night, so I can't command these other ships that are further away. I could take two destroyers and make a death charge toward the uh, enemy Battle cruisers, if that's what they are. Marcus Rillies is hit by a torpedo. The pride of my cruiser fleet. They're supposed to run back to port. I do have torpedo protection on some of my newer ships. The Marcus Rillies has... I don't think they have a torpedo bulge. I think that was before I got that as a design. So she's taking some pretty heavy flotation damage here.
Can these guys not make more than however many knots? They should have 31 knots as their max speed, unless that guy's damaged. Yeah, looks like he's damaged or tired. I'm not sure which. Marcus release is barely moving on fire. She's going to sink. Fuck. Our destroyer fired a torpedo into that line of enemy destroyers, I'm assuming. Guys, just try and run away. Yeah, 100% damage. She's on fire. She's going to sink. I don't know how that's going to affect... The battle results, because Marcus Aurelius is 13,000 tons, which is bigger than their pre-dreadnought that we sank. I can't command any of this stuff up here in the north. Not really sure what's happening with my other armored cruisers that sailed out of sight. Just trying to get our battle line out of here. Be interesting if when you have wireless technology, which we, we do... If you could issue an order of like, everybody retreat, run for your lives, or something, you know, get everybody out of there, tell them to go to the nearest port. Somehow Marcus really has not sunk yet. It says damage is 100%, but she hasn't actually, I haven't gotten the pop-up saying she's sinking yet. She's only making four knots. We don't want to move faster because that'll increase flooding. Other cruisers and destroyers up north just entered port in Dalmatia. Our battleships are making for Pescara. So is the Aurelius at a much slower speed. The One interesting thing about fighting with Italy or any Mediterranean power is that the game tends to be very different when you can so regularly get damaged ships escaping to port, which is not true in a lot of other types of battles. All right, so it looks like our SSC, our, our coastal sub, was sunk, and the Aurelius was not sunk. Heavy damage. She did escape. It could be possible she would still be scuttled. But because she didn't sink, all we lost was one destroyer. The enemy, meanwhile, lost a battleship, an armored cruiser, two light cruisers, and a destroyer. So that is a victory for us. Um... Feels like it was closer to us losing a lot than than maybe the scoreboard shows. In any event, Italy gains major prestige or major victory and prestige. Uh, okay. Destroyer has sunk the enemy submarine SSCU eleven in the Mediterranean. Cool. We lost three merchant ships. The enemy lost nothing. And it looks like the, no, it doesn't say blockaded down here, but it still says B up here. Blockaded by you. Oh, we're blockading them. Interesting. Okay. I, I, I'm not sure about that, but okay. So, yeah, they're down to three battleships of the pre-dreadnought type. And we're going to have to pause some stuff here. Our finances are not in good shape. And with the repairs ongoing, we've got to pause some stuff for a month. All right, we'll get another battle in today. A large convoy defense battle. You know what? Let's, I don't want to deal with those battle cruisers. Let's decline. I'll take the hit. And a cruiser action... Do we think they have battle cruisers every time we fight them? Let's see what the cruiser action has in store for us. So we have an armored cruiser, the Goyuto, which is a Romeo class. 
And then one destroyer. That's what my fleet is. Yep. There are some other destroyers, I think, around here. Even another armored cruiser, but they're outside my command. Wow. Um, it is nighttime, one in the morning. So we just like stumbled upon them. I can't even command the other guys to the rear here. All right. Max speed minus two. Turn away from them just in case there's torpedoes. Those look like big ships too. And of course it's a battle cruiser. I suppose in theory we could try and fight them. If they're in close enough, we could use our guns. Oh, so it's not really a cruiser action. It's a you have one cruiser and they have a fleet action. Gotcha. So let's not do that. Let's not do that and say we did. We'll run away. I'm content losing or taking a draw without losing any ships. I don't even think I took any hits. Maybe we did. Okay, it's a draw. No victor. No shells will hit. They had two battle cruisers in there. First one armored cruiser for me. All right, two, five plus centerline turrets. Nice. We can build basically uh, Queen Elizabeth class now, I think. Okay, so finances, a little bit better. We can resume this light cruiser for a couple months. Six more months till our first battle cruisers come online. Then they've got to get worked up and got to get trained. We've been at war for four months. Our crews are no longer poor for the most part. So they're starting to get trained either by the battles or just by, you know, uh, training. And let's see here. Cruiser battle, again, we're going to run into battle cruisers, aren't we? But again, with the Adriatic the way it is, we can, especially owning the Dalmatian coast, we can perhaps escape. We've got three destroyers and an armored cruiser. It is 11 o'clock in the morning, so should have good line of sight in this fight. One thing this game really does, probably wrong, is it's like, hey, there's a battle every week in these navies, like... Okay, guys, that's, let's tone it down a little bit. I don't know about that. Is this a fleet of three battles? They, they look like big ships. Three battle cruisers, they're just owning the Adriatic. I don't know how we're blockading them. We're not allied to anybody right now, are we? All right, three battle cruisers. So, yeah, we're not going to do this. Uh, all right. And I don't think I want to waste the three destroyers trying to charge them. So these guys ex exchanged some salvos and then everybody ran away. I suppose that could be kind of realistic. That can happen. Hey guys, where are you going? And we lost another submarine. And for that, Austria-Hungary gets a victory. They had four battle cruisers on that map. The readiness on their battle cruisers, like they're always at sea. I don't know that that's really super accurate. All right, we got another enemy sub at least. We lost one, but so did they. We've still got a victory point lead. They're still blockaded, so maybe their economy will collapse. Maybe. Someday. All right, we've got a positive of 1.6 monthly balance. I'm just curious about designing ships here. So if we got a dreadnought, if we auto design. Yes. Woo! We can do super firing B and super or superimposed B and superimposed X. So we can build classic dreadnought classic super dreadnoughts now. With our triple turrets, we can do broadsides of twelve guns. Now the problem we're gonna have is tonnage. We don't have 
sufficient dockyard size to build real mammoth battleships. I need to invest in larger docks. But yes, I mean, we could build this thing, 24,600 tons, 11-inch belt. The deck armor's too low. Yeah, I don't have the I don't have the chops for this. We could do a battle cruiser perhaps like that. Cause the belt can be we don't need in theory, we don't need as as good armor on these things, right? So we could do a battle cruiser twenty five knots, that's the speed of our current ships. Normal freeboard, normal engines, range medium, two and a half deck. Seven and a half belt, 13 inch guns, eight of them. Why would you not do, why would you do a midship? Why wouldn't you do aft superimposed like that? It's basically the hood, the 13 inch guns. We don't have 14 inch guns yet. These are the biggest things we can carry. We could do... Can we do this? No, too not too narrow. But we could do that. A double in the front with a triple in the rear for 10 13 inch guns. A little bit overweight. 25,000 tons add a little bit of weight there. Five inchers and casemates. I don't love the casemates. I'd rather the turrets. I don't have the firing gear for that, but I still would rather the turrets. Um, Our armor is going to get shredded. Like, our armor can't even stop a 13-inch shell at any range. These would be good versus the French ones, too, though. But, yeah, I need bigger shipyards. If we bought them in Great Britain... Make them 27,000 tons. I'm real nervous about it. Even the turrets are way too... Like a hit on the turret would, would kill the ship. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Plunging fire is an issue. Not really at any range with as long as we have two and a half. So we could do a 29,000 ton ship for order in British shipyards. We have pretty good relations with them, right? Be expensive. But this would be a pretty sweet ship to be able to design. I'm going to hold off on that. Maybe maybe invest some of the spare cash in dockyards, expanding the docks. It'll take 12 months. Let's also build a few more of our, our destroyers. Build six more. We're taking losses in the war, so what are we at right now? 33 in service with six building. We'll have a bunch more cash when the THGs come online to build other stuff. All right, one more turn. Uh, Medium-sized cruiser action. I don't want to fight another cruiser action versus their battle cruisers. Enemy coastal raid. Okay, I'll accept that. Hey, they declined, so we got 800 victory points back. 
battleship engagement. Well, I guess our pre-dreadnoughts are going to have to go at it again, huh, boys? We got a little bit better training now. They're at least up to fair crew. All right, so we've got, what time is it? Eight o'clock in the morning, so we got a full day's action ahead of us. We have four battleships. Caesars and Romas. I haven't seen the THGs yet in this. Some armored cruisers. Okay. Enemy ship spotted to the north. Um, Trajan's Marcus Aurelius class, nice. Line ahead, core. Okay, so I'm forming my armored cruisers up into a battle line. We'll slow down as we close in with the enemy. Now, the fact that their battle cruisers are much faster than us means they could definitely control the tempo of the engagement. But we'll see. The goal is to get enough of a lead that we can decline battles where we don't want to fight. And if we want to fight another stair-class armored cruiser, I'm fine with that too. I'm assuming these are battle cruisers back here. THG class, they still have that. The one they took from us. I can also still overtake their older battleships. Although Stern chasing the Adriatic, I don't know that we'd ever catch them before they got to port. Love to take out more of their armored cruisers. These are oldies, but they're they're valuable in a in a game sense from a point perspective. So I think we'll we should be able to at least get this trailing stair. Maybe the other one over here too. Okay, so we are Definitely closing with the rest of their fleet. They they allowed us to. We're just kind of coming up behind them. They're probably in a better position for their broadsides to bear, so let's turn away from them a little bit, get our 12s in fore and aft into action. We'll have these armored cruisers turn as well. And we're just going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this battleship line of pre-dreadnoughts. Uh, unidentified ships to the west, probably battle cruisers. We're near Pola, so we don't actually have as good of a retreat route as we did before. Gonna hold my destroyers back for the moment. Maybe for charging in on the enemy battle cruisers if we get a chance. Alright, doesn't look like any damage on our battleships yet. Looks like they're firing at the armored cruisers out front. hit there on the Erst Carl scoring some hits that center ship in their line it seemed a lot of red flashes on it our cruisers are running low on ammo or some of them are pause can I really still command these guys they must have a radio or something on them Getting close to Pola, though. We could try and cut them off if they're trying to retreat. Vent 
up here would be Venezia would be the best place to retreat to, I think. Enemy battle cruisers are racing out ahead and taking over by the looks of it. Medium damage on the THG. Air to Carl, medium damage. Oh god. The Vetter is taking a lot of a lot of damage. Lead ship detach. Head back to Zara. That's probably there's an enemy armored cruiser over there, but maybe that's the safest route to get out of here. The battle cruisers, if we take a look here, they only have four 12 inch guns. So they're effectively, from a firepower perspective, not much better than a pre dreadnought, I don't think. We're going to turn the battle line south and try and cut the enemy line off. And I'd love to destroy this southern formation. Again, the enemy can control the pace and location of fighting with their speed advantage for their battle cruisers, but not for their pre dreadnoughts. We're going to chase south. We'll let those battle cruisers haul off if that's what they want to do. We'll see if we can get a few ships here in the southern formation, which had already taken a beating from our battle line for quite some time. And we'll see if we can finish any of these guys off. Someone fired a torpedo. No! Rome was hit by a torpedo. Detach. Head to Zara. I think. The enemy battle cruisers are to the north, so I don't want to try and head the other direction. Alright, are these destroyers damaged? Is that why they're all broken up or? Right, destroyers, go, go get them. Go try and finish off these. Pre dreadnoughts. We're not in a good position for the Roma to try and escape. That's not a great situation. All right, we've got an armored cruiser out here, the Trajan. How's she doing anyway? She's taking a little bit of damage. She's, ugh, her cruise must suck. No damage inflicted from her main guns. Okay, destroyers, try and get in there and finish those enemies off. THG looks like she's slowing. All right, one of our destroyers is going down. Oh, 
Oh, THG was rammed, or we rammed, whatever. Destroyer collided with the DHG. She's going to sink. In any event, I think the THG is sinking. Long range torpedo shot. Those guys are wanting you to get in there close. Over the destroyer going down. All right, THG was hit by a torpedo. Already dead in the water. One of the other enemy battleships is hit by a torpedo. So this may be the end of their pre-dreadnought battleship fleet. Oh god, another more battle cruisers up here? What the hell's back here? <sighs> Our problem at this point is ammunition. We are running into a bad situation where we do not have a ton of ammo left, and we're also down one of our four battleships. And we're somewhat bloody. Their battle cruisers are probably fresh. Caesar, where are you going? Our armored cruisers are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the enemy battleships. Arista Carl is dead in the water. All right, both of these pre-dreadnoughts are dead in the water. Was trying to escape. I sure hope the Roma doesn't turn around now that they're out of line of sight and try and come back. They'll run smack dab into the bulk of the remaining enemy fleet. And the battle cruisers are coming back out. All right, so at least those two pre-dreadnoughts are dead. Now let's head toward, is this Vienna or Venezia? Is it almost nighttime? No, it's noon. I don't know if we've hit any of their battle cruisers or not. Roma turned around, you fucking idiot. There's got to be a better, like... Because you can say detach and return to base, but I've never seen the enemy actually do it. Roma, you're going to get yourself sunk. At least she's of the older semi-dreadnoughts. cruisers hit by a torpedo where the hell are they oh god I was not paying close enough attention my armored cruisers are getting shredded up here two of them are going to sink Trajan's going to sink the enemy battle cruisers charged up here and engaged my armored cruisers and quickly turned this battle from possibly a victory into not so much Region sinking. We're going to lose this battle if we lose those other cruisers. Are any of our guys firing torpedoes? We lost three armored cruisers right there. Well, the battle cruisers did what they were supposed to do. They sank armored cruisers.
any of their battle cruisers heavily damaged? Medium, light, light. So I lost basically, are they all of my Marcus Aurelius classes? Maybe that class ended up being a dud. I didn't think they were going to be, but. Where's Romeo? Is she sunk yet? No, she's still alive. The speed advantage alone, I, I didn't think the battle cruisers were going to charge out of their port to come after me, but they did. Well, that'll be a pretty big defeat. Based on tonnage, I am assuming we will... Oh, God, get away from those coastal batteries. Based on tonnage alone, I am assuming we will lose that battle very badly. Those armored cruisers were big. They were like the size of their pre-dreadnoughts. So we sank three pre-dreadnoughts, but I think the armored cruisers will... Well, it still said we won. So we sank three battleships. They sank one and one destroyer. They sank three armored cruisers and three destroyers. So it's close, but it still gives us the victory. Not really a victory I can afford, but a marginal victory there. Medium range submarines, nice. All right. Well, they're not blockaded anymore. If we look at the Almanac, we lost three armored cruisers. So we still have eight, but three three of our remaining ones are the old Palaestros. We lost one of the Marcus Aureliuses and two Romeos. The enemy lost their three remaining pre-dreadnoughts, so they have nothing left there. Just their five battle cruisers, which have been a pain in the ass this whole time. It did look like we did a fair bit of damage to their battle cruisers. If they decide they want to fight, we can hurt them. I guess, maybe. Like, the armored cruisers definitely... I don't know if it was them or the other battleships, but they had medium damage, at least on one of them, so it's not crazy that we could hurt them. Um, we have four months to the THGs. And one of the light cruisers comes online. Those should be in, in this war, I think. But it's still fairly close. It's it's nothing too bad, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, we've been going for almost an hour. That was a that was a pretty big battle. I need to figure out how we best best move forward. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please leave your thoughts down below as always. And until next time, this is the historical gamer saying thank you very much for watching. And I'm out.